So I want to do a quick comparison between Fargate and Lambda because they're both serverless compute. And so they seem like uh, they solve the same problem, but there are a few key differences. And so we're just going to quickly walk through those. Um, the first is they both have cold starts. Uh, and it can be argued that Fargate's uh, cold starts are slightly shorter. Um, I can't really remember as to why, but in the documentation, I think it says that there. Um, a big different factor is duration. So with a Lambda, the maximum time you can run it is 15 uh, minutes, where the duration with a Fargate task, you can run it as long as you want, because you can just make it a service and it runs indefinitely. In terms of memory, uh, Lambda has an upper uh, upper limit of three gigabytes, whereas uh, Fargate has an upper limit of 30 gigabytes. So if you need a lot of memory, uh, go over with Fargate. Uh, for containers, uh, you provide your own containers with Fargate, so you definitely have a lot more flexibility in terms of configuration there. Uh, for Lambda, setting up containers is extremely limited. Uh, you use these standardized containers, and then you build stuff on top of that. So if you really need something highly configurable, you're going to need to go with Fargate. For integration, uh, Lambda just has seamless integration with a lot of serverless services. Um, and it just makes it really easy to chain stuff together. Even recently, like Lambda has output destinations and um, it just keeps on getting more and more uh, easier to integrate with stuff. Uh, Fargate, you know, you can orchestrate things together. So like with step functions, you can tie things together, but it's just not as seamless as Lambda. So, uh, and you know, you do have to do a lot of configuration to get your cluster set up and um, the uh, Fargate task set up, but definitely you uh, less, uh, less than doing an ECS cluster without, you know, without Fargate. And the last thing is pricing. So with Lambda, you're paying per 100 milliseconds, where with Fargate, you're paying uh, at least one minute and then every additional second is how the pricing works there. Obviously, um, the amount of memory you use uh, and, and the CPUs also uh, comes into factor there. But just the takeaway that I want you to know is that Lambda is 100 milliseconds, right? And Fargate is one minute and every additional second. So hopefully that makes uh, a little bit of sense to you there and you can kind of have an idea like the use cases for each.